Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are at Mike's Place, if it'll focus, Mike's Place, in Kent, Ohio, to do their Stewinator Challenge. So this is about a six pound challenge consisting of uh, over four pounds of beef itself, plus fries, a massive loaf of bread, everything else in between. Uh, it's gonna be massive. You have 30 minutes to complete it. If not, I believe it's, I don't know, like let's say about $50, something like that. So we'll get some more details, head on in, see what we can do. And let me show you this place, it's really interesting. So they have like, I don't know, Sinclair thingy thing. They have a freaking bus inside. They have this crazy lit patio, which I'm sure is really cool in the summer with like another bus. And then this is a, this is a Star Wars Starfighter, TIE Fighter, whatever it is. So that's kind of cool. So. Uh, here with my good friend, Mr. Ronnie and George. So uh, let's head on in. Hi everybody, so here we are. We're about to start a massive six plus pound challenge of burgers. Like this thing's gigantic, not to mention all the bread. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Is there a record? I don't think so. If you finish it, that's probably right. Okay, so <laughs> finishing it will be a record, he says. So uh, Ronnie, ready to start? Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Thank you for 30 minutes. This is a huge loaf of bread, literally a whole loaf of bread. It's also pretty hot. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. My battery's flashing, so we're gonna go quick. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today me and my friend Ronnie are taking on the Stewinator at Mike's in Kent, Ohio. So Kent, Ohio is just outside of Akron, Ohio. Um, and then this Stewinator, which I'm not sure if the name is named after somebody or if it's because it's kind of stupid, um, but the Stewinator. There's a lot of cheese on these burgers. Stewinator's bread. I can kill you with this. Honestly, that's, that's a weapon in Afghanistan. There's a lot of bread. And to clarify, I mean a stupid amount of food. The challenge itself is a serious challenge. So this big burger sandwich, I'm not sure what you want to call it. So it had over four pounds of beef itself, then it had a one and a half pound plus loaf of French bread with curly fries, French fries, tomatoes, lettuce, a whole bunch of grilled onions, pounds of cheese, not really pounds, but just copious amounts of cheese. You then had ketchup, mustard, pickles, and mayo. Um, so definitely a loaded burger slash sandwich. Again, I'm not really sure what you want to call it, um, but it was definitely a big, like really fair size. Definitely, I'd say six pounds. Um, you had 30 minutes to complete it, to which the previous record from my research is about 29 minutes and something like 50 seconds by Mr. Randy Santel, um, or it was somewhere around 29 minutes. Um, for sure, Randy Santel did this back in, what was I believe, like 2009, 2010. Um, so definitely a large number of years ago. And then since they estimate that it's been beaten like one more time, maybe two more times, but all the times were around 29 minutes um, for that completion. Uh, but there has been also a large number of attempts for this challenge. Let's go around and keep up the base, man. You can't underestimate that, Brad. So in all reality, not a very good success rate, but hey, here we go, we wanted to give it a try. Um, so the food overall, it was pretty solid. I mean, the burgers tasted good. It's hard to grow on burgers, I'm a big burger fan. Um, although, like, let's be honest, just a copious, copious, copious amount of bread. But the staff were also really, really nice, um, which helped the experience. We were in there quite late, so it was really cool of them to uh, make it in for us. Literally, look at, look at the size of this bread. And there's one on the bottom too. This is gonna be the, it's gonna be the interesting part. I'm not gonna underestimate this. This restaurant too, I definitely would recommend staying around to the end of the video because this is the coolest looking restaurant I think I've ever been to in my life. Actually, I am sure this is the coolest restaurant I've ever been to in my life. So I really want to show you that. So there's lots of footage at the end of the video. Just this restaurant is absolutely crazy. And it's really, really cool. Like, so definitely worth checking out. And the menu's huge. There's also fries and curly fries and pickles. and. All kinds of stuff down here. I'll try to get with a fork, but... A lot of fried onion. 
So adding to the difficulty of this challenge, which was already quite difficult, was that this was um, our not our first challenge of the day. So we were kind of already a little gassed from that, a little full from earlier. So kind of heading into a more difficult challenge definitely is, well, it's not a walk in the park after all those, well, circumstances and situations. That being said, we were ready for it. We were going to give it our all. Worst case, we would have to pay $50 for the challenge, which is not on the cheapest end. But I mean, theoretically, you do get quite a bit of beef and whatever, whatever. Either way, still 50 bucks. So we were really hoping not to do that. And we were hoping to become who were the third and fourth winners or fourth and fifth winners in literally like over 10 years of this challenge's existence. So that's pretty intense. Um, but that, let's give the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy and uh, let's see what happens. Because when I started, we got uh, 12 and a half minutes left. Yeah, that's 12 and a half. Yeah, there you go. You're rounding down. Okay, I got you. So, Ronnie, you got just over 12 minutes left. Keep it up, dude. I believe in you. I know you can do this. You want to play for two Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want flavors or not? Yeah, I'll do some flavor. Great for punch. Gotcha. Just keep going. Do I get dessert? I don't know if you do. Not. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I've never seen anyone finish it. I think you get your picture taken and maybe a t-shirt. Okay, cool. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Your Thanksgiving turkey now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's about 11 minutes left. 
Ronnie mostly just has one loaf of bread left, just the big one. A few little uh, scoundrels, scounder, what do you call that? Scraps, whatever you want to call it. So uh, keep it up, dude. You're doing well. You got 11 minutes. I know you can do it. You just got to push me. You'll get it done. If you get tired of the sloppings, you get tired of getting born on that big loaf of bread, right? Two and a half minutes. You just have about one handful. Get them rid of the paper so you don't have to play with it. Just keep going. Keep going, keep going. There you go. There's out of your way. Let's go, Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. Yeah, come on, man. One more, one or two more bites. Let's go. Finish strong. Just another handful. Just a few more bites, just to finish to get those little pieces. There you go, Ronnie. You got this, buddy. Just get a couple more of the scraps, and I think you're good. I think you're good, and that's good. There you go, this last little bit. Tough one. We were all sitting in the edge of our seats. Ronnie, huge congrats, my dude. Thank you. You did it. Now you just got to sit here for 10 minutes and let keep it down. So that, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Super cool looking restaurant here at Mike's Place. Literally one of the coolest looking restaurants. That's a hard challenge. Woo. There's so much bread. But uh, yeah, we can both get a meal for free. And uh, we're one of, I think, three winners in like 10 years and hundreds of attempts. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. that, everybody. I need it every 30 minutes. You know what I always say. Put it in and put it down. That's it. Woo. And, of course, happy eating. Oh. And to celebrate such an awesome win, 
That was number 101 for me. I think this is about win, I don't know what, five food challenge for Five or six, yeah. We all have some, got some house made peanut butter pie, courtesy of a gentleman named Scott over there. Thank you, Scott. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, we'll go thank him. All right. And here's George. George got a piece of pie, too. I got a piece of pie, too. Yeah, let's go. I can't Scott. <laughs> Scott, do you want to be in a video? What's that? Do you want to be in a video? And here's Mr. Scott. Huge thanks for the dessert, my friend. Oh. Appreciate it. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. Man, what a cool, have you guys been here before? I have, yeah. What a cool spot. Like, look at this place. It's actually one of, it's probably the most popular spot in Kent. In Kent, so, hey. Yeah. Well, if you're ever in Kent, Ohio, you know where to go. Huge thanks again, Mr. Scott. Hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for the dessert, and uh, you know what to do? <laughs> cool. All right. Let's try this pie. Ronnie, how's the pie? It's very rich. Very rich? Very, very peanut butter. I thought it was calorie free. Shit. What are you, George? How's the peanut butter pie? Good, man. I love rich food, Joe. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try this peanut butter pie. It's actually my first time I've had peanut butter pie. Which apparently is mostly peanut butter and whipped cream. <laughs> Real southern delicacy. And it's house made. Whoa. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is rich. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. Wow. I mean, it's good, but that is not calorie free. No. The funny thing is, on the menu, they actually have dessert, which I think is called Empty Space. And it. And it. it Stop swearing. <laughs> On the menu here, they actually have something called empty space, which says it's zero calories. Like it's literally just saying you can eat air right here in yellow. I'll read it to you real quick. Empty space. This magic make-believe item is served with a big helping of I don't know what to put here. No worries, no calories. You're safe in Mike's place. Never, never land. This is not calorie-free, but it's pretty damn good. My battery's about to die. All right, fellas. <laughs> but, that's peanut butter pie. This is Mike's place. One of the coolest looking restaurants I've ever seen. If you're ever in Kent, Ohio, come check it out. Yeah, come check it out. Yeah. At least come look at it. And uh, huge thanks to Scott. That guy's awesome. It'll take, you know, it'll take 15, 20 minutes to get there. Anyway. Here we have a throne room. There's Mustang Ave. You want that medium, right? Yes, please. We have a southern room in there. This whole place is just decorated. Hey! Yeah, what's wrong with you, dude? Dude, look at this place. This is one of the craziest places I've ever been. Oh my gosh, you can literally eat in the bus. We're in the bus. Oh wow, that's so cool. Should've done the challenge in the bus. <laughs>